Hey guys and welcome to a new Laura Nicholas vlog. So after spending one month on the Greek island, it was time to do something completely different. So yesterday we took the ferry from Santorini to Athens. We spent one night in Athens and this morning we drove for four hours to Meteora! <laughs> so we are actually going to do a road trip with Herbie the van. We don't know yet where the road trip will take us, but one thing is for sure, we will drive through Albania and through Montenegro. Really? We both have never been, but we are so excited so because we heard excited. so many good <laughs> things about it. So our first stop, as you can see behind us, is Meteora. Meteora is very unique, not only for the incredible landscape and these rock formations, but also historically, there are monasteries built on top of these rock pillars in the Middle Ages. So this place is just super unique. You could only come here just for the landscape, but then on top of that, historically, it's just super interesting as well. So we thought this was the perfect start of this incredible two-week road trip. We are so excited. Yes. We're gonna bring you guys with us. And yeah, we just can't wait to explore it, it and to show it to you guys. It's so much colder than in Santorini. Like 24 hours ago, we were still like in swimsuits, laying by the pool. Now we put on our sweaters, but anyway, it's still like super beautiful. So let's show you. Okay, so we just made it to one of the six monasteries that you can visit. Normally you have to pay a three euro entrance fee per person per monastery. Yeah. Unfortunately, we are a little bit late because they close at 3 p.m. and it is 5 p.m. almost. Yeah, maybe so, we can do some tomorrow morning, but I don't think so. So the plan now is we are going to drive down so we can see the rock formations from below. I think that would be interesting as well. So yeah. let's go. Okay, so after exploring a little bit, we made it back to Herbie the van. So for those who don't know, we do have a van and we have a van to we'll link it here so you can see the van, but you will see Herbie a lot during this trip. But anyway, uh, we are going to have dinner now at Meteora Panorama. It's apparently one of the best restaurants here. So we're going to check that out. And then I guess we'll see you in the morning. Okay, so after her little birthday dinner last night, we drove a few hours this morning and we made it to Albania. We are so excited to visit a new country that is completely unknown to us. We don't know nothing about it. So we're very, very excited to take you along this exciting trip. We also didn't know that our current SIM card doesn't include Albania, so we don't have internet here. So yeah. first we'll have to find a SIM card because we're pretty useless without internet. <laughs> we are. So the first time that we're visiting is Hirokastra. It is apparently one of the most picturesque towns in Albania. So that's the first stop. We're going to walk around and see what it has to offer. Okay, after walking around a little bit, we decided to try some Albanian food and have a drink. It looks really good. So this is pumpkin pie. These are vegetable balls, a bit like zucchini balls in Greece. And Nicholas is having an Albanian beer. How is it? Really good. <laughs> so if you're ever here, come to Ediwa to have lunch or a little snack. It was really, really good, super cozy. And you have these amazing views. So, definitely recommend it. Good morning. Good morning. So, yesterday after a late lunch, we didn't vlog anymore because we just decided to get some work done in the van and we decided to stay in Gira Custer just because it was so cute. So, in the evening, we went back to have dinner. There was live music. Was Apparently, like evening. every Saturday evening, there is live music Apparently. everywhere in the street. So, it was it was a real vibe. Yeah, it was really fun. But yeah, now today we drove from Gira Custer to the Blue Eye, which is our second stop on this Albania trip. It was 
was what was it 50 minute drive or something yeah through yeah. the mountains roads weren't so good beautiful with our views big van. beautiful, beautiful views. views though yeah. yes okay but now we're going to check out the blue eye which is apparently a very touristic place the water is ice cold so i'm not sure if we're gonna swim we didn't even bring a towel so probably not but we'll see but we'll take you there let's have a look <laughs> Okay, so that was the blue eye. To be honest, maybe expected a little bit more out of it. I thought it, is, it was way bigger. Yeah, it is That's pretty true. tiny in real life. People aren't swimming in it or chilling in it. However, the natural phenomenon that is the blue eye is it's, pretty incredible. Yeah. The hole goes, divers actually went up to 50 meters deep. They, That's how deep they went. So it's probably even deeper than yeah, that. Yeah, they actually have no idea how deep it is, which is quite insane actually, if you think about it. And I tried dipping my toes in the water and it's uh, it's cold, like freezing cold. Yeah, I'm still glad we did it. It was really cool to see and the yeah. colors especially are really beautiful. We insane. just thought it was bigger. That's insane. It. So yeah, now we are going back to Herbie. Uh, we're gonna cook ourselves a little lunch in the van and then it is on to the next destination, which I don't know what beach. is. Oh, we're going to the beach. Yeah, we're just gonna drive the coastline all the way up in Albania now, so that's next. So we're just gonna do like multiple beaches, multiple beach towns. So yeah, it'll be cool. Okay guys, so after the blue eye, we actually didn't do much anymore. We just drove and uploaded our latest YouTube video, which took a while because internet here in Albania is so slow. We are now on a campsite because we got some messages from our Instagram followers that we shouldn't free camp too much in Albania. Some people got their tires cut with a knife, others, their car was broken into. So we just decided it was safer to stay in a campsite so yeah. that's where we are right now better say than sorry yes we should probably not be scared at all because everyone is so friendly here but after those messages we, we thought <laughs> maybe let's just stay in a campsite it's only like 10 or 15 euros tomorrow we are going to explore some beaches very excited for that but we will show you that tomorrow good night Good morning Good guys! Morning. It's a new day in Albania and today we're gonna do some beach hopping. The first beach we're going to today is... Hiepe Beach. I don't know if I pronounced it right, Hiepe. but apparently it's one of the most beautiful beaches, most secluded beaches in Albania. So we're going to hike there now. Apparently it's about a 30 minute hike. You could go down to the beach with a vehicle, but you need a 4x4. Because so. this road is not that great. So yeah, we're gonna hike down and see uh, how beautiful this beach is if we like here and we'll stay a bit but otherwise we'll just like continue the road and visit some more beaches we'll let's see. go we're very happy that we left herbie behind because this road is insane i don't think herbie would have made it no absolutely not herbie would be dead Absolutely. Rest in peace, Herbie. <laughs> Get the whole thing shaking when we hit the floor. Yeah, we're just getting started. Let's see where it goes. Okay, so we made it to the beach. As you guys can see, it was quite a long hike, I think. Yeah, it was quite we long. We spent like 35, 40 minutes maybe. No, no. I think max 30. The way up though will probably take an hour because yeah. it we went all the way down and now we have to go all the way up again. But first I guess we'll have a swim. Yeah, and have a little drink. I think we're, we deserve yeah. that. This is the first thing we did. We came to the beach and we saw that there was a place to have a drink, so we're having a drink. And then we gotta walk back up. But it's really beautiful here. It's really, really nice. I just wish that it was just a secluded beach, you know, without like chairs and umbrellas. Mm. And without drinks? I like the drink though. They could yeah. keep the bar. <laughs> yeah. We were also thinking there are a few cars here, so maybe we'll just pay <laughs> someone to drive us back because we are not looking forward to that hike back up. But yeah, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna spend some time here and then we'll go back to Herbie and go to the next beach. Good 
morning. Good morning. So yesterday we decided to drive all the way to the north of Albania because we realized there's so much we still want to see here in the north. We drove for like five, six hours, bumpy roads, terrible, terrible, <laughs> it terrible. Was really roads. horrible. But anyway, we made it to the Komani Lake and today we are taking the ferry from Koman to Fierza, which is apparently one of the most beautiful ferry rides, boat rides in Europe. Some even say in the world, so we're very excited. But yeah, we're taking just a return ticket um, because we left the van here in Koman. So yeah, so this afternoon we'll be back here. Um, so yeah, this is just like a sightseeing trip. So, so yeah, so yeah. So yeah, I'm very see. excited. <laughs> Okay, so we made it to Fierza, so from here you can go to Valbona, which is one of the most beautiful national parks here in the north of Albania. You can even take a camper van, so we could take Herbie on the ferry. We decided not to do it and just get a return ticket, but you could To be honest, we to. couldn't because the ferry was full. <laughs> because we so didn't we book couldn't. in advance. But if you want to, you can do it. Just wanted to let you guys know. But now we are going to wait here for an hour and then we're gonna return back to Coleman where we came from and where Herbie is. But guys, this ferry ride was so beautiful. I Same mean, thing. you saw some footage of it, but In I'm sure the life, footage yeah doesn't do it justice in wow. real life it is so beautiful it's it is incredible. by far the nicest boat trip we have ever done yes and i mean we've done how long <clears throat> bay in vietnam as well and i even think this was more spectacular yeah for sure this was so nice exactly. and there was a little party on the boat as well the locals were dancing i'll insert a little clip their music it's special but it is catchy it's that is very for catchy. sure so yeah we're gonna wait an hour here now we're in this little town but there is nothing to do there's, there's just one restaurant one bar but we ran out of money because in albania <laughs> they don't accept cards almost nowhere so yesterday sure we had to take some gas with herbie i couldn't pay with car <laughs> so yeah that's how it goes here we don't have any cash left so we're just gonna stay on the boat and wait <laughs> like two broke people but yeah we'll see you later <laughs> Okay, so after our little boat trip, we started driving. We'll explain you more later, but first we had to come to this super famous bunker. There's a tattoo artist in it. We don't have any tattoos and we don't on pl we don't plan on getting any tattoos, but we just wanted to show you this place because it's super famous and it's really cool because it's in a place that has so much history. So yeah, we're just gonna go in and show you around because we just think it's, it's just awesome. Okay, so that was probably the most interesting encounter we had in Albania. Very, very interesting. The funny thing is that I probably would have been scared of that guy if I would have seen him on the streets in our own hometown and it's actually so sad because fear kind of makes strangers of people people who actually could be or should be friends and he was super interesting super friendly super nice he even gave me flowers so I just want to tell you guys that if you're scared to go somewhere it's probably just in your head in your mind most people are good people and I think in Albania all people are good people People. Yeah, literally people it's are insane. so friendly. Coming to Albania again opened their eyes that we cannot judge a book by its cover. You just have to go to the country and explore because honestly this country is amazing, so beautiful, incredible people. It's just 
yeah, just come and see it for yourself. Anyway, enough rambling. The normal plan was actually to go to that national park, but they're predicting rain for tomorrow, so we decided to skip that. So many of our Instagram followers um, recommended that national park to us, but unfortunately that will be for another time. Because also, Nicholas apparently decided to plan something for my birthday. A little surprise, Montenegro. So make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that video and our next week's adventure. Also, it would mean a lot if you like this video. That just helps us a lot. I'm Laura. And I'm Nicholas. And we'll see you next week. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs>